What if everything you believed about meal timing is wrong? You've heard it a thousand times. Never skip breakfast. But what if skipping meals could actually unlock incredible health benefits, like weight loss, lower blood pressure, and a sharper mind? Today, on Medical Symptoms TV, we're pulling back the curtain on intermittent fasting and revealing the shocking secrets behind this increasingly popular health trend. Trust me, you'll want to stick around to the very end. Because we're not just talking about the science and the risks, we're going to hint at a surprising solution that might change the way you eat forever. Let me share a quick story. A friend of mine was always told that eating six small meals a day was the only way to lose weight. She tried it, and guess what? She actually gained weight because it was so hard to manage. Then she heard about intermittent fasting, where you limit eating to certain hours or certain days. She was skeptical. Skip meals? That sounds unhealthy, right? But she gave it a shot, and the results shocked all of us. More energy, clearer skin, and she dropped those stubborn pounds. But wait, before we dive deeper, you might be thinking, isn't it dangerous to starve yourself? Or what about breakfast being the most important meal of the day? Trust me, these are valid concerns. So let's break down the facts and science behind this phenomenon. Intermittent fasting, or IF, is not about starving yourself. It's about structured eating windows. The most common styles include 16-8 method, fast for 16 hours, eat within an 8-hour window. Many people skip breakfast and eat from noon to 8 p.m. 5-2 diet, eat normally for 5 days a week, then consume only about 500 to 600 calories on 2 non-consecutive days. Alternate day fasting. One day you eat normally, the next day you severely restrict calories, sometimes 500 calories or less. The theory? By giving your body a break from constant digestion, you trigger specific metabolic and hormonal benefits, like improved insulin sensitivity and fat burning. Ready for something mind-blowing? There's a mechanism called the metabolic switch, where your body stops relying on glucose and starts burning fat for fuel, producing ketones. This switch can happen in as little as 12 to 16 hours of fasting, and it's linked to cellular repair, lower inflammation, and improved blood sugar control. Some studies even suggest it could help protect your brain from degenerative diseases. So, if you've always assumed you must eat every few hours, this switch might be the biggest shocker of all. We all know the biggest reason people try IF is to shed pounds. By limiting your eating window, you naturally take in fewer calories without obsessively counting them. Research from reputable sources like the Mayo Clinic and Harvard points out that it can be just as effective as traditional diets. But here's the real kicker. IF can also help reduce belly fat, improve insulin sensitivity, and lower fasting blood sugar. Some folks with type 2 diabetes have even been able to reduce or discontinue certain medications under medical supervision. Intermittent fasting often leads to improvements in blood pressure and cholesterol. We're talking about lower LDL, the bad cholesterol, and reduced triglycerides. Some studies show resting heart rate drops as well, a sign of better cardiovascular fitness. Here's a fascinating angle. In animal studies, IF has been shown to protect brain cells, boost memory, and reduce the risk of age-related neurodegenerative diseases. Human evidence is still developing, but some participants report clearer thinking and better focus once their bodies adapt to fasting. Chronic inflammation is at the root of many diseases, heart disease, diabetes, even some cancers. Intermittent fasting appears to turn down inflammation and ramp up autophagy, which is basically a fancy word for cellular cleanup. Think of it as your cells taking out the trash, getting rid of damaged parts, and improving overall health. Animal models, from mice to worms, show that fasting can extend lifespan and slow aging. While it's not proven in humans yet, the patterns are compelling. IF seems to activate genetic pathways that resist stress and promote cell survival. But here's a twist. For some people, when they skip meals, really matters. Skipping breakfast might feel natural for a night owl, but for others, that could lead to late-night snacking that actually hurts their cholesterol and insulin levels. Research has found that an early eating window, like 7 a.m. to 3 p.m., might be better aligned with your circadian rhythm. So, if you're struggling with the usual skip-breakfast approach, switching your window to earlier in the day could be a game-changer. Now, before you jump in headfirst, 
Let's talk about the not-so-fun stuff. When you first start IF, you might feel hangry, dizzy, or just plain miserable as your body adjusts. Constipation, headaches, and fatigue are common in those early weeks. It usually gets better, but it's definitely something to keep in mind. Who should avoid or use caution? People with diabetes or on blood sugar-lowering medications, as fasting can lead to dangerous lows if not managed properly. Always consult your doctor. Pregnant or breastfeeding women need consistent nutrition. This is not the time to experiment with fasting. Anyone with a history of eating disorders. IF can trigger restrictive or binge behaviors. Children and adolescents because they're still growing. Those with certain medical conditions or who are underweight, fasting might be too stressful on the body. And remember, being in a constant deficit can lead to nutrient deficiencies if you're not careful with what you eat during your eating window. Let me know in the comments. Have you ever caught yourself sneaking a midnight snack when you promised yourself you wouldn't eat after 8 p.m.? I sure have. We're all human. If this has happened to you, smash that like button so I know I'm not alone. So how do you make IF sustainable without driving yourself crazy? Ease into it. Start by reducing your eating window slowly. Maybe begin with a 12-hour fast overnight, then work up to 14 or 16 hours. Stay hydrated. Water, herbal teas, and black coffee or tea are typically allowed during fasts. Plan nutrient-dense meals. When you do eat, focus on veggies, lean proteins, healthy fats, and whole grains. Avoid the temptation to gorge on junk just because you earned it. Listen to your body. If you're truly feeling weak or unwell, it might be time to end the fast or adjust your approach. Timing matters. If skipping breakfast is making you binge at midnight, consider an earlier eating window that suits your lifestyle. Here's a lesser-known yet fascinating concept called hormesis. Mild stressors, like exercise or short-term fasting, can actually strengthen your body's stress response systems. It's like exposing your cells to a controlled challenge making them more resilient over time. This could partially explain why some people on IF report boosted energy and overall vitality. They're basically training their cells to handle more stress. A quick reality check. The long-term effects of IF are still being studied. We have promising data up to a year, sometimes two, but not decades-long research on humans. We also know that no single diet works for everyone. If you have concerns or a medical condition, Please consult your healthcare provider before attempting IF. Remember, fasting isn't a magic wand. It's a tool. It can help you reduce calorie intake, improve metabolic markers, and potentially support healthy aging. But it's not an excuse to ignore a balanced diet, exercise, and overall wellness. Still curious about how to perfectly balance your meals and get the best results from intermittent fasting? We've got you covered. In an upcoming video, we'll share a simple, step-by-step -step meal plan that you can adapt to fit your schedule and goals, plus some secret hacks that make fasting so much easier. But first, tell us in the comments, have you tried intermittent fasting or are you a skeptic? We'd love to hear your experiences, questions, or concerns. Let's start a conversation. If you found any value in this video, please smash that like button and consider subscribing to Medical Symptoms TV. When you subscribe, you'll never miss our latest updates on health tips, medical breakthroughs, and real-world stories.